Hi guys, uh, this is the final part of my three part video uh, about modifying your home screen. So just to recap, the first video we looked, at, we looked into uh, Go Launcher and also uh, how to get the Sense 3.0 lock screen set up for your phone. The second video was more of a comparison between the features of uh, Go Launcher, ADW Launcher, uh, Launcher Pro and TouchWiz. Now in this video I'm going to cover one final launcher. Uh, I'm gonna talk about the SPB Shell 3D. That's not a very well-known launcher, but uh, it has its uh, pros. So I'm gonna talk about that. And after that, I'm gonna do a quick memory comparison of what kind of memory usage uh, is there for each of these launchers to see which one actually consumes a lot more memory and which is better optimized for this phone. So uh, here goes. This is the last launcher on the list. SPB Shell 3D. Uh, one note that I want to give people is that uh, for those of you who are into actually downloading APK files for the launchers, don't ride with this because it just doesn't work. There's not a uh, available APK file. Any APK file you end up downloading, uh, it's gonna get detected the moment you connect to the internet, and uh, the launcher is gonna expire. So the only option of buying, getting this launcher right now is shelling out. How much was that again? Okay, I know what in my currency, I'm trying to convert it to dollars, so just give me a minute. I think it's around $14. So see, uh, I generally don't buy pirate stuff, I just wanted to, you know, add this in this video so that I can actually show you how the launcher looks like. But um, I just connected to the internet and this is what it says. Unfortunately, we cannot look locate your purchase in the Android market. Please uninstall this copy before installing a new one. But then again, it lets me just show, show it to you once, so this is basically how this launcher is it's pretty cool it's got uh, it's not too customizable but whatever they've given us is very 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 smooth it's it's really good uh, if you can see I'm sorry oops back back okay so it's got this button in the center so you hold on this button and you swipe and you get this cool uh, 3d effect uh, I think that's pretty cool so you just leave it you just leave it this way and you get you know effects like this uh, this is not really it's not really useful uh, it's more of eye candy but definitely it's something that you know is something that you can show off to your friends you know you've got somebody looking at your phone and you want to show them something cool especially you know people with an iPhone this is something you can show them and tell, tell them can your phone do this so it's it's most of I a lot of eye candy, uh, not very feature oriented, but it's also very good to use. As in, you get uh, one different thing that have they, they, that they've thought with the, thought up with this launcher is that you know you hold up your contacts list or any folder. You got an option to you know make it a full size folder, as in depending on how much screen you know uh, space you have left on your screen. Or shrinking it into a small folder thumbnail or leaving it as a single line folder again for Galaxy Note users uh, this launcher presumes that you're on a normal phone so it's gonna give you only 4x4 four four, uh, a 4x4 four four into 4 grid excuse me there's no option to change the grid manually so I, it wasn't a deal breaker for me it, uh, I found it really good I actually purchased this launcher kind of changed my mind in another 10 minutes and you know gave it back but still uh, again it's got some cool transition I mean cool effects like as for SMS you know you just tap the uh, contact uh, picture and then you know you get this cool scrolling kind of um, messages then again it's not too functional as in functionality wise it's not something that we're gonna use all the time but looks cool so that's there again uh, what do you say? Let me just go back quickly. Show you something else. Uh, so it's got a lot of effects. So we uh, say, for example, you know the weather effects. Uh, this is one of the only launch launchers that I could say, uh, from my personal point of view, uh, that lives up or matches uh, the eye candy offered by uh, Sense 3.0. Uh, Sense is better in a lot of ways, but this matches Sense in the terms of eye candy definitely if you can see you can see the uh, weather there's a whole what do you say screen allocated to flicker as in you get the 
every day you get different pictures over here you can just tap the picture you like it set it as wallpaper or you can download it or you like a picture from the list you know say for example I like the moon picture I'm just gonna tap it comes up tap it again download it just hit back download starts tap it set as wallpaper and that's it you've changed your wallpaper so that's pretty cool it's not something we've not seen before it's just the way that they've bought things together they've almost thought about everything uh, I don't know for someone who's been using an iPhone or an Android phone for over two years now this is something I've always ran into and I'm sure you would have done you would have run into too uh, say if you're on a full screen and you wanna add an app to it or you just I just wanna switch you know this calculator and email apps what I need to do on a general launcher is I need to delete an app fr shortcut from the screen move email to that point and then add it but not with uh, SPB shell tap on calculator drag it down now take email move it drag calculator back up again you can also do it with any vid any widgets drag it down drag it back up so it's pretty uh, again you wanna just swap widgets you can just okay see it just swaps so these are all little things but it kinda makes the whole experience a lot smoother uh, but okay then coming back uh, to what makes this uh, kinda the cons of this particular launcher uh, okay before I go into that let me just show you one more feature there's something called manage panels you go into that you get this cool list you know of the panels that are there and you also get a list of other panels that they've given you say for example there's a moon panel drag it and drop it a time panel and there's a miscellaneous panel that you can actually set up with anything you want say you want a panel full of games you can set up games on it so let me just show you the time panel okay, okay just back back so the time panel again comes with a lot of clocks skins for the clocks you get a lot of them you can download them on they're all free at least as far as I know to my knowledge they're all free so pretty much a lot of skins again for the moon the lunar you get the what do you say I don't know what this is called but it's a cool effect so we've got that again going back into this it's like a carousel kind of thing you can just you know you can kind of spin it okay you're supposed to go faster than this I've got a skin on me protector on so you just keep going around you can make any of this your home page so that's pretty much it so now moving on to the uh, disadvantages of having this launcher the first one is price obviously it costs you around 15 14 to 15 dollars I will add a note on the video stating exactly how much it costs and uh, another thing is excuse me again uh, this launcher comes with its own set of widgets just like the go launcher X and uh, uh, what is that launcher pro so SPB widgets are pretty pretty decent uh, I just showed you the uh, what do you say I just showed you the uh, message widget uh, apart from that you've got the tools widget as in you know one click to turn off Wi-Fi turn on Wi-Fi Bluetooth adjust black backlight again say for example I delete this widget now now I can make my favorite contacts oops this big as in this big so you can adjust the size of the folders and another cool effect is you know with the gallery you just stop the tap the photo to the left and then you get this cool effect of you know a cover flow kind of effect uh, I'm just gonna finish off with uh, you know some showing you what kind of memory that each of these uh, home screen launchers take up so the first one is this is the one that it, that consumes most memory because you know it's got a lot of cool transition effects and you know 3d in it so it's gonna consume a lot of memory so let's see how much what kind of differences are there so uh, the way I'm gonna do it is I'm gonna open up home screen manager, I mean home manager and I'm gonna kill all of the launchers that, that are running 
get back into say SPD shell, go into task manager, exit and clear memory. So by default with all apps closed and just the uh, SPB shell 3D running, uh, your phone shows, I mean my phone, the Galaxy Note shows about 441 MB of memory being used. Okay, so how does this fare in comparison with other popular launchers? So let's use Home Manager again. Kill off SPB shell. Okay, one second. Seems Go Launcher X was still running, so I'm just killing Go Launcher off right now. Just to double check. Go into Task Manager, RAM, Clear Memory. So SPB shell still uses 427 MB of uh, 427 MB of RAM is occupied. So now I'm gonna jump into Go Launcher X. I'm gonna use Home Manager to shut down SPB shell. I'm actually gonna uninstall SPB shell 3D. I don't need it anymore. So just using it for the video's purpose. Uninstalled it and uh, back. Task Manager, RAM, Clear Memory. And 357 MB is what's being used. So as you can see, uh, SPB shell consumes abo about 90 MB more uh, RAM when compared to Go Launcher. So let's see, let's move to the next one, uh, ADW Launch Launcher X. Again, we're going to use uh, Home Manager, going to kill off Go Launcher, come back, Task Manager, RAM, clear memory and here it's 343 MB which is even lesser than the Go launcher and just so you know I've been using all, all of these launchers so uh, all the home screen contain widgets so the activity on the home screen is kind of similar for everything so that's 340 MB so now moving on to the last one on the list uh, what do you say Okay, before we move on to Launcher Pro, let's also check TW Launcher and see what kind of uh, memory that consumes. Home Manager, Kill, Go Launcher, back to TW Launcher. This is the launcher that Samsung provided us with, so it's supposed to be most efficient, at least in theory, but that consumes about 428 uh, MB of memory as well. So not very effective as far as I'm concerned. Going into Launcher Pro, uh, killing off. I'm sorry. Oops. Killing off uh, the other launchers. Killing TouchWiz and uh, killing Go Launcher. Switching into Launcher Pro. Task Manager, RAM, clear memory. So again, 344 MB. Uh, so from whatever I've seen and I've used so far, the Launcher Pro might be a little bit low on uh, features when it comes to you know the scrolling and so on. Just the transition effects might be a little lesser compared to the other launchers. But it is one of the most stable launchers available. You can go ahead, Google it up, and uh, a lot of people are going to be telling you the same thing. Launcher Pro is the most stable launcher available, and it does not cause any kind of uh, what do you say? Uh, lag in between transitions and so on but if you're gonna jump into say Go Launcher X which has a lot which is more feature oriented but there's definitely a little bit of a lag it's not that smooth if you can see when I'm using the transitions you can see me swiping twice at times or you can see that I'm missing us I mean you can see that there so uh, and there's also a very slight lag and this is one of the simple transitions I use when we use a little more intensive you know transitions Say for example, uh, if you're gonna use something like you know the cube transition, there's a lot of choppiness at times, and that kind of takes away from the uh, what do you say uh, the experience. And I'm def I definitely don't want to be you know using a choppy phone, so that's the reason I changed over to Launcher Pro, and Launcher Pro is. Uh, one of the most smoothest launchers available so end of the day my recommendation to you if you want a fully functional uh, launcher go for a launcher pro the only reason why I did not use ADW though it's really good is because I like having the 
swipe gestures like you know launching your app draw swiping up and I've set it to launch my files so I like this feature which ADW lacks and uh, go launcher as feature filled as it might be it does slow your phone down to a bit uh, it just does use a lot more memory so I'm, st I'm sticking with launcher pro for now but if you're gonna be able to spend the money and if you really like uh, all the graph I mean the graphics and the you know the effects that uh, SPB shell 3d gives you then go for it so the, these are the ways that you you know modify your home screen and make the phone your own and that is the point that I've been trying to convey for three videos right now so thanks a lot for watching guys you like it please click like hit subscribe follow me on Twitter cuz forever thanks for watching you guys have a great day bye bye